Watch out my yarny peeps. First off, I don't have a tutorial for this hat. This tutorial is knitted. I don't know how to knit. Uh, my friend Gary from the YouTube channel Urban Yarns, he knitted this for me and he sent it to me. So uh, you check out his channel. Um, it's awesome. You'll love it there. So, uh, yeah. I got one. Hi, everybody. Oh, I might going to be busting out some stuff on this if I can figure it out. Oh, we're going to figure it out right now. Okay. Uh, first this off, I'm. Be fun. It is going to be fun. I'm going to tell you. Can we shut that door? Sure. That myself and Mr. Bod are not affiliated with Addy. Um, I purchased this myself on Amazon. It was $200 and fifty dollars um but this is the king size the one that i was told i asked actually for everybody's opinion and everybody's like this one and then they have a smaller one they said it works well for socks um so you could look on amazon okay so i will like i said i bought mine on amazon i will leave i don't have affiliated links i do not get paid if you buy this i don't even care if you buy it i'm just going to show you my thoughts on it yeah we just want to try it i want to make some hats for hat not hate cranking them out evelyn wants to help too she's pretty excited i might have to get if this is cool and works well i might have to get the smaller version um does it, it was, make socks yes does this one do socks or does it only do hats it does hats and then it can do flat panels that you can sew together and make like a blanket blankets or cardigans like, and, like stuff like and stuff like yeah. that yeah like the squares and things i think can do a lot from what is I it read. only squares it's circles but it has somewhere way that you can separate oh, you it and make it four sides and then it makes a square and then a mm. rectangle or however long you want it to be but anyways i'll oh, leave I can't wait to try. i'll leave some links below remember none affiliated to amazon and maybe uh addy or whatever you can check them out i don't i don't really know just i usually just google search for it and do price checking that way but that's where i got my amazon let's open this up i'm not uh I'm excited to get it. Addy, made in Germany. Winding instead of knitting. Windings, I don't knit. I can't knit, but I can wind, I bet. So this is a, a book that came with mine. They had a few separate ones on Amazon. I'll put the link to mine. Some of them just had the machine. Some of them had, um, like packy yarn with it, I think, a little bonbon, a couple little bonbons. Some of it had extra needles. Mine has, mine's got some extra stuff with it, so, yeah. Um, so this right here tells you everything, how to do it, and it even has, like, pattern designs. Look at that, that you can make on it. Look at the stuff you can make on it. You can make sweaters on it? Yeah. Wow. Cool. I'll have to look through this skirts yeah i guess it's more than you know that should be their slogan addy knitting machine start, more, start your own business more than just hats <laughs> more than just hats and scarves i'm like, curious uh, to see all this stuff okay but we'll sit out small with the blue hat for hat not hate so um like i said i asked people on my channel because i value you guys' opinion and most people told me that this was the best one to get. And if I wanted socks, they have a smaller version. This one's good for hats and scarves and stuff like that. So, it does have legs, Mr. Bob. Oh, cool. Legs on it. It cranks, it's not, it hooks onto your table. Oh. Oh, I read it did, anyways. Anyways. Here's some legs. One, Where's the instructions two, three, four. at? Three, four. Right here. I don't know if this is instructions or you guys should probably like get to it. Let's see. Yep, instructions. They're in German. Nope, they got German and uh, English. You can see Deutsch. <laughs> and, uh, your grandma used to say that to you? No, I don't know what she said to me in German, but I'm sure it wasn't good. I was pretty ornery. Usually she was chasing me with a fly swatter when she was speaking German to me. Hey, I got Mr. Bought a chair from, I ordered one I from Walmart. I haven't put it together yet. It's here, he just hasn't put it together. So he could be on more of my videos because I know a lot of people like Mr. Bought. You know what? Thank Mr. Bought is pretty cool, I guess. 
You finally came around. I finally admitted it. 20 years later. Oh, people want to know if I prefer, like I said, they want it since you shaved, if I like the beard. I, I said before I didn't have no preference, and I really don't. But if you were going to hold me in a corner and force me to choose, I'd probably choose the beard. But I think he looks great either way. Well, thank you. The beard is more. It grew on her. Sophisticated looking. Mm. She used Especially to always like. Especially with that bit of gray in it. It kind of reminded me of George Clooney. Thank you. And you know what? I just learned that George Clooney cut his hair with a Flobie. Ah, uh, that was in the news. That's but awesome. That's the kind of news we read. It reminds me of when I was in high school and my <laughs> friend came to school with the Flobie cuts all the time. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Body, he's just, these uh, screws just basically, or legs, they just screw onto the back, so they're real easy. Now, this whole machine is plastic, but it's a hard plastic. $250 worth of plastic? I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. If they can do all this stuff, then it was definitely worth it. Okay, and then it's got, these are what you can hook it to your table with. So, yeah, it does have clamps. a clamp, but ours has, need it now. ours has an overhang. So I'm not going to clamp it to the table right now, but it is able to clamp. I think we can handle it. It has a counter there, so a row counter. Um, someone told me they have a newer version that just came out that has some type of different row counter. It's supposed to be more accurate, but I read it was like $50 more, I think. But then I read in some places, I don't know. But then I read in a bunch of reviews saying that it really didn't make no much of a difference some people said it did but most people said it really wasn't worth it to pay more for the newer edition so i don't know i don't know anything about these okay so it says let's see how we get started and how we thread it and how we load it oh so this also comes with an addy stopper i don't know what the stopper's for it comes with a metal hook so you can flip your yarn off the ends and uh and then it comes with um a plastic yarn needle and some extra um, teeth in case any of yours go missing or break. But let's hope that doesn't happen. I don't know if you get to go in real fast, if it's like, whoa, let's see snap. You... Let's see. I'm excited. Um, you're excited? I'm yeah, I keep looking at this thing. It is pretty cool. Let's make that, see if we can get it uh, threaded up here. You got the legs on it. Place the Addict Express King size on the edge of the table. Okay, we're not going to mount it onto the table. Okay, to set the line to. counter to zero, turn the black knob. Okay, so it's a zero. here's the counter, um, and here is the knob, and it's already set at zero. Yay, turn the page. Uh, German, okay. Make sure that the operating switch is up. Okay. Pull some of the yarn off the ball and through the middle of the Addy Express until it touches the table. So right here. Is this the operating switch? This is the operating switch. Turn it around and show them. I'm going to use... This gold part? Yes, this is how we feed the yarn. And how do you, how do you uh, make it go? I'm going to be using Red Heart oh, right, uh, Comfort Chunky, which is a bulky five weight. I don't know how well it's going to handle a bulky five, but we're about to find out. Okay, so we're going to leave this open and we're going to start. You can, each one of these are like numbered one, two, three, four, five. You can see the numbers there. You guys probably can't see them on camera, but if you have this machine, you'll be able to see them. Um, number one is the black pig. So we were going to start, leave about 12 inches there. It's kind of like it's a tail on the inside of your um, machine. machine. And then we go around the first black one and then around the black the back side of the next black one and then hook the inside of the next black one now we're at the white so we're just going around one and then catching one around one and catching one around one catching one mr bob goes too fast for me let me try okay yeah now your arms in the way i know if you're doing them oh my bad oh. here i want to see how to cast on do it. Hold it up here. Okay. okay, so catching one going around the back side of the other. So Ooh, missed it. Missed it. Okay. Mr. Bob thinks we're at uh, the Indy 500. You're doing great, but Mario. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay. You got it. You got it. 
got it. Okay, okay. whoa, okay. stop. Okay, and then we're gonna open this up and put this through here like this and close it up and we should be able to feed through. Okay, so we put it through this uh, piece here and my uh, ball of yarn is over here that I'm feeding it through. Shut this and if you look, there is a slit there on the side. I'm gonna put it through that slit. I think that helps control tension. I'm not quite sure, but we can see what it's gonna do. And now we're gonna slowly turn it, which way is this, clockwise? Same as counterclockwise. Okay. And it should do the opposite of what it just did. The ones that didn't have, now has. You shouldn't even have to hold it, as long as it's not I, tangled. Okay. Well, I'm a crocheter. I'm used to holding, guiding it, so I'm gonna hold it. Well, you can be its guide. How slow, how fast. Let's take our time at first. Let's see what happens. Just watch it and make sure it gets it. Is it supposed to click like that every time? I don't know. I see what it's doing. What's it doing? It's got a little thing and it grabs the... Okay. Um, I read that it was some more noisy. Okay, and then what do you tail. do? Did we get that? Oh, we wound up the tail. It's supposed to just get wound in it. Now keep going. And I think you do this until you get your hat as long as you want it to be, or your scarf as long as you want it to be. Let me test it. It's fun! It's fun, guys! It's cool. I don't know how well the row count. Well, it says we're on row four now. It's counting rows, I guess. I did read the row counter on these. Sometimes messed up, and sometimes didn't, but no, it just switched over to five once we made it back to number one. So my row counter is working. O M G. I am gonna have so many hats for hat and I hate. They are never gonna see the likes of Bag O Day. I put too much tension. I want it to be nice hat. Let's do what that girl on TikTok did. I don't have no way to do it. The handle don't come off? No. Nope. There's a screw oh, back yeah, here. Yeah, but that's not going to make it turn. What do you mean? If I put a drill on there, it's not Oh, the screw on TikTok, she took the handle off her. She, she had a Michaels brand and she used a screwdriver. A drill. A, or a drill, slowly, and it wound it for her. I think we can think of something, though. What do you think? Hamster wheel? I would, but the cats will eat the hamster. <laughs> It's working. It's counting my rows. We're going to put this on fast mode. Measure. Okay, now we're going to measure it because, and see, um, where's my tape measure? Up there. There should be a uh, cloth one. Oh, and we're going to see, because this is the inside of your work right here. It's actually really quite fun. And see. Yeah, it's super easy too, once you get the hang of it. How long it is, so we know. Because this literally took us five minutes. Uh, it was about ten, actually. But let's go nine because we have to sew up the top. Okay. That's just a guess. I don't know. Maybe we're making a slouchy. Maybe we're making whatever. We hold that. Uh, yeah. Over there? It's best to mount it on the table. We learned that. So we'll do that next time for yeah, sure. Yeah, it gets a little buck wild. Then. Yeah, this only took about 10 minutes from me and Mr. Rod. Not even 10 minutes completely doing I mean, this. I mean, the videos, how long? Oh, the videos. I don't know. It didn't take long. It was super, it was super cool. It's counting the rows correctly, as it should. Every time it goes around to the number one, it does count it. It is oh. a bit loud. I will say the, com the handle is not extremely comfortable but it, because but it's, it's okay. flat. It should have yeah. been a ball, but it's fine. I mean, it still works really good. Or just a cylinder handle would have been fine. It's, it's a really kind of a big round. 
first looks a lot tighter than that picture, but I don't know. It's our first time, guys. I guess let's just check it again. Check it again. I don't know. We can just it tie it off and just see what happens. See, see how look, nine inches. Put an inch on it. Okay, and now it was like literally a minute. Go to um, the number one, and then we'll we had to tie it off. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've made it around. What I'm going to do is cut my yarn. Um, I'm going to, you know, enough that I can uh, sew up around here and sew up like eight. I always like to do more than than less. So I cut about 18 inches to two feet. Probably way more. Then you get a yarn needle. For some reason, I can't find my metal one, so I got to use this plastic one. Okay, open this up. Pull your yarn out. Mr. Bod, Yo. and then what we're gonna do is so I'm just going in between the uh two pegs here and pulling it off like that, grabbing that loop. See that? Can't get up any closer and pull it off. This isn't really like a tutorial, I guess. This is just like a learning experience, little, little demo for me. Uh, yeah, how do you pull them down? Okay. Far enough? A little bit more to where the box. Oh, okay. And I'm going to tell you how well I like this thing after we look at the hat. But yeah, you just go around and grab that. Comes off easy. And do this, and this is how you cast off or whatever they call it. Bind. I don't know what they call it. Bind off. Cast on. Bind off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. All right. I'm going to continue this. I'm going to stop the camera until I get it done. Wait, wait, wait. Oop. Mr. Bod's going too dang fast for me. I'm slow, he's fast. Okay, so I went through all of them. Move that machine. And now I think you pull it gently. Careful not to break your yarn. Your yarn here at the top that you just went through. Yeah, some yarns will break easy. Kind of like you're, when you crochet a hat or you knit a hat from the bottom up and then you always gather it kind of at the top and. Uh, if you watch my videos, I always tell you to pull gently. But this yarn is red heart bulky, so bulky number five. I think it's probably pretty gonna, tough. Pretty tough stuff, anyways, in my opinion. If I, I need a metal needle. I really need a metal one. Then you would just sew up your top, you know, like you do a crochet hat or, or assume a knit hat. I don't know how to knit, but I guess I can machine it now. Well, I don't I was know. Say you know now, don't you? I know how to. I don't move. know how it's going to look, but I guess you just sew this up. It's probably wrong. If I'm doing things wrong, it's all right. Remember, I'm just learning. Just showing you guys. We're just excited to try it. Everybody asked me to kind of show what I, and tell, tell them what I thought of it. So I'll make mistakes. Not a tutorial, um, though. We'll learn along the way. But so far, it performs. Oh, sorry. Performed um, as it should. It kept a nice row count. It kept count every row. One thing, though, I think I'll make sure and strap it to my table because I had to hold it while Mr. Bud was uh, cranking it. Cranking it. It didn't take long to uh, about ten minutes of cranking. One thing I will, though, have Mr. Bud do, which I've seen on other knitting machines. Add a drill to it. Add a drill bit. They added something, screwed something right on to the crank here. This part of the crank. And they, where well, you could use a drill, because I'm lazy, I guess. Or a and motor. I, I have a couple motors. I think, and you got some motors and stuff. And that way, it's not hard on your hands, you know. You just you do what you do there, and and then you're done. I wish, still, I wish I had them. It's hard on your desk. Oh no! If that stuff comes out, I gotta record on that desk. All I'll right. I have to make you a separate table for this, and then mount it to it. Yeah. I'm sure, Olivia's gonna like it. I'll take that head in there and show her. Okay, let me see now. Now, I don't know. This is the right side, I guess, right here. Uh, I assume. But is this one able to be pulled too? Let's see. That one you just probably hide like a tail and. Yep, yeah, you just sew it in. Maybe. Okay, so do we got scissors there? Scissors? Yeah. Tie this off. Okay, turn my camera back around. Up straight. Let me turn it off for a minute. Okay, so this is my first hat on the Addy Express King size. What it looks like. 
Um, like I said, I sure am, I made some mistakes. I don't know, maybe I knitted it too tight or not, but um, I could put a palm on the top or you could leave it. Um, those of you that have one of these, are they supposed to roll at the bottom like that or is there something I should be doing, I guess? But Probably after you wear it and it gets it stretches broken out. a little bit, I bet you it'll, it'll This uh, was made with bulky five, so maybe a four <clears throat> weight would make it, it looser. I can see that, you know, it's not... It's not perfect, but hey, let's give it a go, right? It was quick. It was quick. Easy. Huh? Easy once we got the hang of it. And it fits. I don't nice. know about, uh, this isn't really my style of hat, but um, it's going to make a lot of blue hats for Hat Not Hate. One down. One down. And I used, I could probably get probably three more. Yeah, it was really One quick. One more half out of like this, maybe. I can I don't make know. hats now really quick, and I will. I'll make dozens of them. Okay, so my thoughts are that I like it. It kept, it wasn't, uh, it does need to be mounted. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that, but it, it you know, it's definitely needed. Well, it's mounted. kind of pretty light, really, for mm -hmm. what it does, so. I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. I'm not sure about this roll here. You guys that have these machines, let me know what is, this is supposed to be like that. Maybe I have it flipped wrong side out. No, I don't I think, think it I do. It looks pretty good like that, a little brim on it. Anyways, um, and then, let's see. Like I said, yeah, Mr. Bob's going to mount me a motor or something on here. So he's pretty good with like little electronic stuff like that. He'll be able to whip me up a motor, probably where I could press a button or something. So I don't have to crank it because, like I said, I'm lazy. And then it'll be a lot faster that way. And then my arm won't hurt. It saves my crochet hand. So I can but then how will you get big muscles? I got crochet muscles already. I think that's right here. What? If that's a wrist muscle. Oh, whatever. Forearm muscle. So yeah, he'll whip me up some type of motor, which I know he will. Either to be button push or something, or to drill or something. So I don't have to crank. It kept count. Um, it's nice and sturdy. Nothing broke. It went really fast. At the times we were turning it pretty fast, it kept count every time. Mm -hmm. The hat probably only took like a 10 minutes and then you know the five minutes it took to load it up and then sew it up and then i like it i think it's awesome i it think it's really good I think I once you get the hang of it i'm sure it will take even less time and this one makes panels and stuff i got lots to explore oh, but yeah, for look, now a sweater now and scarves tonight you can just crank one out yeah Ooh, now i can get a whole wardrobe no i gotta crochet some stuff in for like just tutorial, two or three but, days but yeah this was super cool i like it i'll probably be using it a lot but now I have to get the small one so I can make socks. Yeah, they have a definitely. small one. Knitted Adeline. socks are the bomb. <sighs> Knitted socks are good, aren't they? I like knee, so knee high socks. So. Knee high socks. Mm -hmm. That's what I always she wear. Likes Anyways, there it is. What do you guys think? First half. Looks good. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe the yarn. I mean, it, it's tight to stitches. I don't know if that's because we did it too tight. I pulled. Is maybe. this this is knitted? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hand knitted. It's got different stitches in it. Yeah, I see it. I like the way it has the... Zigzag there in the middle? Well, the, the ring right here, so it lays a little bit flatter on the top. Yeah. Of the contours with your head. Anyways, um, I don't know if it's because of the thickness of the yarn that the stitches are so tight, or if it's maybe I was putting too much... I was putting tension on it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But anyways, one hat down. Mm, 30 more thousand to go. I was going to say 8 million, but... <laughs> well... Thanks everybody for watching uh, this silly tutorial, but no tutorial. No, no, it's not demo. Tutorial. Demo, just uh, to tell you uh, how it review maybe review. Yeah, review. This wasn't a tutorial. Don't take my word for it. Although it did work, I probably did things wrong, and um, I'll yeah. learn eventually uh, how to make things better. But yeah, hey, we made a hat. The only thing I just don't like, like I don't like that curl. But I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. Remember, let me know in the comments if I can get rid of that or if that's just the way these machines are i don't know it's just the way it i mean is. but it's okay it works it's, it's cool i like the machine i would definitely I, I, I'm, I'm gonna get the small one so i can make socks i would i have no other brand to recommend it to as far to as to, to compare it to i mean i have no other brand but everybody that i asked most of them said this was the king of all knitting machines so i went yeah. for it and I like it. It performed just like it was supposed to. And um, now I'm going to get a small one so I can do socks. I'm super stoked. Aren't you stoked, Mr. Bob? I am Bob? stoked, especially looking in this catalog. What? Of all them sweaters There's and stuff? There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Uh, 
maybe uh, not exactly my style, but it's just amazing that the thing can do that. I'm curious to see how it does. I think maybe this is tight because of the bulky five yarn that I used. Oh, yeah, it could be the yarn. But too. it'll stretch. Anyways, one hat down for hat not hate. Boom. Many, many more to go. Easy Thanks, peasy. everybody, for watching. Yeah, thank you, guys. Have a great Peace. night. Peace. Love hey, you guys. Hey, stay safe. Stay safe. Love you. I love you guys, too. I know. We both love you. We both do. Bye, guys. Bye.